there everyone, this is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth TV. There is an awakening currently happening in all regions of the globe. Revolution is in the air, and the recent emergence of Occupy movements in all areas of the world is a sign that the people are beginning to realize that the few control the many, and it's time we said enough is enough. One of the most powerful and influential groups of individuals in the world today is known as the Bilderberg Group. People of influence, heads of finance, politicians, military men, and media moguls all meet once a year in secret behind closed doors to discuss how to further their agenda for a one world government. The group was founded in 1954 at the Hotel Bilderberg in the Netherlands, where Prince Bernhard, a former Nazi SS party member, was integral in its creation. Since then, David Rockefeller, Henry Kissinger, and Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands have been highly involved. The formation of the European Union came at the hands of the Bilderberg Group, and they are continuing to manipulate the markets to this day. Canadian politicians play an important role as well. Pierre Trudeau, Jean Chrétien, Paul Martin, and Stephen Harper have all been made members of this elite group. However, when asked about their participation, they never give a straight answer. Considering that the fact that there was no referendum uh, from the people on this agreement, um, as a former Bilderberg attendee, could you please describe what your intentions were when you signed the SPP on behalf of the Canadian people? Well, okay, um, uh, I, uh, I attended one Bilderberg meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm not sure they ever invited me back, but, the, um, but, uh, but just to make sure, I've also gone to a Maple Leaf hockey game, that doesn't mean I'm a Maple Leaf fan. Uh, <laughs> Stephen Harper attended the meeting in 2003 and just three years later he became Prime Minister of Canada. Alan Gottlieb, the former Canadian ambassador to the US, has also attended these meetings. However, he was quick to brush it off when we asked him about it. In 1996 you were at uh, the Bilderberg meeting and also there was uh, Jean Chrétien and uh, Paul Martin. I don't know if I was at that meeting, I've only been to a few of them. Bilderberg and Toronto are not really think tanks. They, they're, they're simply individuals who get together who are from um, business, the political world, the media, others, and discuss ideas. And they influence each other through that. Their influence over the Canadian economy is undeniable when you consider that former members have included Edmund Clark, President and CEO of TD Bank, Gordon Nixon, President and CEO of the Royal Bank of Canada, Frank McKenna, Deputy Chairman of TD Bank Financial, and Mark Carney, Governor of the Bank of Canada. Their influence over the Canadian media becomes clear when you consider that former members have included Peter Mansbridge of the CBC and Heather Reisman, editor of Huffington Post Canada and CEO of Chapters in Indigo Books. Heather has also served as a governor of the Toronto Stock Exchange and she's the founder of HESAG, an organization which funds what are known as lone soldiers in the Israeli army. As a member of the steering committee, Heather Reisman is integral in finding and inviting new recruits. The group maintains a strict policy of secrecy by trying to remain in the shadows and out of the spotlight. This was revealed by David Rockefeller when he said, quote, we are grateful to the Washington Post, the New York Times, Time Magazine, and other great publications whose directors have attended our meetings and respected their promises of discretion for almost 40 years. It would have been impossible for us to develop our plan for the world if we had been subject to the bright lights of publicity during those years. But the work is now much more sophisticated and prepared to march towards a world government. The supranational sovereignty of an intellectual elite and world bankers is surely preferable to the national auto-determination practiced in past centuries. In just two weeks from now, the annual Bilderberg Conference is going to be held in Chantilly, Virginia from May 31st to June 3rd. And so today we're going to be speaking with some people on the streets of Toronto to find out if anyone has heard of the Bilderberg Group. Have you ever heard of the Bilderberg Group? No. No, no, never. No, I haven't heard of that. I have not. 
sounds kind of familiar, but I couldn't tell you what it was. No, never heard of them. The build a bird? Uh, build a bird? A builder berg with a G, yeah. Uh, no. Oh, like an iceberg? <laughs> no, no, not quite. Well, what would you say if I told you it's a group of about 120 people on average who meet once a year? Uh, these are politicians, heads of media, military men, heads of finance. They meet once a year in, in secret, uh, behind closed doors, discussing foreign policy. What would you think? What would I think? Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you think that's a good thing, a bad thing? Do you agree with it, disagree? Um, is there anything wrong with, with some of the most powerful and influential people in the world meeting behind closed doors and discussing things in secret? Not really, no. I mean, they, those people only have the power that we give them, you know? So I just tend not to recognize their power and just to, like, pretend they don't exist because for all intents and purposes, they don't in my world. Like, no matter how much harm they do or how much good they think they do, like, I really couldn't care less. I really don't <laughs> give any knowledge or time towards those, uh, those, you know, those rumors or those foreign conspiracies, you know. I don't really know anything about politics or business. Yeah, I feel like it's something we should know about because it sounds kind of important. Isn't that like some like Illuminati stuff kind of deal? Like Illuminati, apparently. I think yeah. I watched some uh, documentary on the Illuminati, maybe? Does that have anything to do with it? Yes, it does. Okay, yeah. I have heard of it. It's like a... Uh it's the secret organization that secretly runs the world, kind of, right? Kind of, exactly. That's exactly it. How, how do you, what do you, what do you feel about that? Oh, uh, it's pretty shitty. I have heard the, it's, it's the rumors about it, whether or not it really occurs. Um, I've never been asked a formal question, but what do I think about it? Um, I'm not surprised. I think that there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes on behind doors that we have no, you know, the average people walking down Young Street have no access to. Um, are they probably doing things that aren't in our best interest, but are in the interest of the, the few? Absolutely. You've got the, the heads of the world essentially determining how our world is going to, <laughs> you know, pulling all the strings and stuff like that. So I don't know too much about it, but I would well, say transparency uh, in general is, is a better policy for governing. I don't know. It should be publicized, I think. It should not be on a closed door because if it has something to do with the public, it should be publicized. I honestly don't think it's a good idea for anybody to be secret. I don't think anything should be secret. I think if anything needs to be said, it needs to be said in front of the people here that can hear it. The lack of coverage from the mainstream media has clearly kept this group in the dark, but it's time for that to change. Press for Truth is prepared to go to Chantilly, Virginia to do the mainstream media's job and cover the Bilderberg Conference, but we can't do it without the help of you, the viewer. We have no sponsors, no corporate ownership, or no one telling us what to do. We are a truly independent, grassroots media organization who are dedicated to covering these issues. You can help us provide coverage of this event by making a contribution at the link located in the description. With your help, we will work hard at exposing the secretive global elite known as the Bilderberg Group. The more independent media that covers events like this or like anything gives a more unbiased opinion considering how slanted our current media is. That's the job of the independent media like yourselves. It's the job of you guys to get out there and inform the real people that need to know what's really going on because we have really no idea. And without you guys, we wouldn't be around to know. So you awesome. guys keep us informed, so keep us updated. I'm hoping that you guys do you know, people really do see what you guys are doing and you guys impact and you know, you guys build a bigger group to allow people to see these truths and speak to them and let them know that like, this is what you guys are pushing forth. I definitely do wish you guys all the best luck in this and I do support everything you guys are doing with this.